much here so far. Uh, now I want to uh, place a separator between each component, I mean a line uh, between the components so it can separate each component from the other. For that reason, I want to go to components and add a new component uh, and name it uh, item separator.js. Okay, uh, here mm, uh, let's place uh, basic code. Here I want to remove the diff and place a view here. And uh, now let's import this view. Okay, and give it uh, some style. Style equal to uh, its uh, width should be 100% uh, and a height should be one pixel. Let's save it and uh, go back to message screen. Uh, here the playlist contains a new uh, and other prop uh, which is item separator component which should equal which should be equal to uh, date component which we have created mm. its uh, name was item separator item separator uh, sorry item separator okay uh, let's import it here uh, import item separator from mm, components dash uh, item separator. Okay, so it is important here. Uh, it gave same here. Oh, sorry, it was uh, inside the flatless item because it's a means the prop of flatless item. So let's check it. So we have refreshed the code and we can't see the line. Let's check the reason. Oh, I didn't give the color. So the background color uh, should be, uh, let's say, gray for here. Let's save the code and reload the app. Yes, yeah, so here we can see the uh, line between the items uh, has been shown. And let's change its uh, color. The dark black color doesn't look well. So uh, let's go to this uh, and choose a color from here. Let's select uh, this one. Okay, and go to the page end. Okay, place it here. And let's see the result. Let's refresh the code and see what's happening. Now it's uh, looking good. Now uh, I want you to give it a touchable behavior because when I uh, click on any, any item, uh, so it should be selected. For that purpose, I'm going to uh, list items and place the list uh, here. And uh, let's uh, wrap it from touchable component, touchable uh, opacity, opacity. Okay. And uh, let's wrap the whole code inside the touchable component. Okay, let's save the changes and uh, recognized. Uh, let's import it here. Uh, touchable opacity. Let's save the code and refresh our app. Okay, so the whole app is loaded, and now when I click any of the item, it's uh, uh, have uh, an effect uh, touching on it. So the selection uh, section is uh, done. Now it can be selected. But this behavior uh, doesn't uh, match it to the list items. Uh, uh, let's change the touchable component to uh, touchable highlight so it will look more beautiful. Okay. And let's copy and paste it here. Okay. Now refresh the app. So the app is loaded. Let's check it. Oh. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't respond uh, until uh, we define an uh, on press event to the touchable highlight. So let's. Uh, place an on brace event uh, let's, uh, let's add a new prop here let's call it on brace and pass it here on brace okay so let's refresh the app uh, it doesn't work still because uh, we didn't define the on brace from our uh, message screens uh, let's pass it here as well uh, and here on press should be add function uh, so let's pass an arrow function here uh, equal to uh, let's uh, console it console dot log and here I'll uh, I 
item typed. And the second parameter, uh, I should pass the item uh, so that I you know which item is selected or which item is pressed. Uh, okay. So we, what happened here? I have to pass the item. Now refresh the app. So the app is loaded now and let's check it. Oh, its color is uh, too ugly. Uh, let's style its color and uh, go to messages screen, uh, to list item, sorry. Uh, and here, uh, let's uh, pass uh, another prop uh, called uh, underlay color. Underlay color, uh, let's uh, uh, call it uh, the color I've selected for the color I have selected for uh, this uh, item separator. Uh, so I will copy it and uh, paste it uh, here. The underlay color. Let's paste it here and refresh the app. Now it's look a little good compared to that black color. Also, let's take the terminal when I click the uh, item here. Uh, let's uh, maximize it. When I click on the first element, uh, it's uh, going to place its data here. So it's awesome. Uh, compared to it, so that uh, if you swipe uh, this uh, item to the left, uh, a red button or a delete button appears here. When we press that button, the item should be deleted. For that, uh, let's go to the documentation and uh, open the docs.expo.io. Uh, or dot dev. Uh, here, uh, go to the API references and uh, go bottom and uh, and find the gesture handler. Click on it. This page will be appear. Uh, this is uh, how to install it, the uh, React Native gesture handler. You have to copy this uh, command and uh, run it on your command prompt. Uh, I have done it before, so I don't need uh, it now. After that, let's go down to uh, this link, React Native gesture handler docs. And open it. Uh, let's view the docs. Here uh, we can see a uh, handle state, uh, API references, uh, guesser handlers. Here all the guesser handlers uh, appears, but we need a component called swivable. And we click on it. This page is gonna be appear. Uh, so we need to import uh, this line in our code. So let's copy this uh, line and. Uh, Paste it uh, in the list item on the top. Okay, let's save. Now let's get. So uh, let's uh, rate this whole code in a swivable. And swipe ever. And, uh, and let's cut it from here and place it right below. Uh, uh, this swivable component contains a few uh, uh, props. Uh, render right action should be it also contain the render left action but uh, today uh, I'm going to uh, utilize the right action here I'll pass a function uh, that uh, let me uh, create a new prop here uh, render right action okay and let's pass it over here render right action Okay, and uh, let's go to our message screen. And uh, here we will create uh, a function for render write action. Here, let's pass the function to render write actions. Uh, it's actually actions. Uh, let's change the spelling from here. It's uh, actions. Okay, let's save the changes. And uh, uh, here uh, we are going to pass a function. An error function uh, which will render a view from view and uh, let's uh, style it no width should be equal to 80 pixels background color should be red let's save the changes and uh, reload the app it generate an error that we will not define let's uh, import the view here uh, say please, uh, sorry, this was not using uh, view. Okay, let's uh, refresh the app. So the app is refreshed, take the output. Oh, really awesome. A red color appears. Uh, let's add uh, some text here, uh, like delete the button. So let's go to the view and add a text here. Uh, let's uh, delete and 
and give Pearson styling uh, in JST5 content to center and align items also to center. Okay, now uh, let's give the delete a uh, little style style equal to uh, color wide. Okay, let's reload the app. So the app is reloaded and let's check the output. Yeah, here you can see that delete button appears in uh, every item. And to avoid code redundancy, uh, let's uh, make it with a reusable component here. So I'm going to components and uh, sorry, add a new component item delete action dot js. Okay, uh, here I'm going to delete this uh, div. Uh, so copy that or control x this code here and paste it right here okay save the changes and go back to this code and uh, just uh, pass it uh, here uh, item delete action and let's see if it's uh, imported or not yes it has been imported uh, messages screen okay awesome let's refresh the app and uh, see our implementation this is an error that we is not defined. Uh, let's import it here. Import view from React Native. Also a text component because we use the text also. Save the changes and refresh the app. Yes, so the app is refreshed and we can see the same result right here. If we switch it uh, to the left, uh, it appears. Now let's start deleting an item. Uh, so uh, let's go to message screen, and here we should declare uh, some variables. Uh, for that, we need uh, a hook, uh, a use state. For first, we should import a hook here from React. Use state hook. Uh, whatever name start with use in React Native, it means it's a hook. Now we down to the message screen method and uh, use that hook. Use state and pass the initial messages initial messages and let's store it in an array const array equal to this okay so let's destructure this array because we will need two variables right down uh, the first one is uh, messages and the second one is set the messages, which we uh, reset the messages after deleting uh, one of the items. Set messages. Uh, cons uh, handle delete function. Uh, it will be like this. Let's create an arrow function right here. Uh, this should equal to messages because it will read a message which will be an arrow function and let's go down to the body okay to do that uh, we will need uh, a filter method uh, so uh, let's start messages these messages will come from this array messages dot filter and let's pass uh, m m and, and sorry arrow and m dot id not equal to message dot id this message is coming from this uh, function okay so this will return an array a new array uh, it means uh, the id of the element which is pressed should not equal to be uh, the element that are present so the pressed element will be deleted and the rest of the elements will be stored in this array const new messages equal to let's save the changes and uh, pass the new array oh sorry what happened so mm, pass the new array to the set messages set messages and this should be equal to be new messages let's uh, save the code and refresh the app now oh, we have to use this uh, method here uh, let's uh, create a function an arrow function here it in angle braces okay so we can set its prop right here 
on paste should be equal to uh, an arrow function right here and handle delete and we should pass the items here okay save the changes and test our implementations this is not the items this is item save the changes we didn't edit the on press uh, event uh, in item delete action so here we will destructure it and here we will pass an on press okay and we are going to uh, uh, rape this whole code in a touchable component so uh, touchable touchable without feedback let's import it and rape the whole component in it control x going down it here and here we are, it has a proper called uh, on press this should be equal to on press let's save on implementation and check the result so the app is reloaded and let's check our result I press delete the item goes deleted